welcome to the Scholar Progenium. You join us for another exciting battle report of Actung Panzer. <laughs> third round the second video of our first ever little campaign first things first if you've not watched the first video um no spoilers but you should go back and watch it. i'll leave a link in the description down below suffice to say that the situation stands as follows the russians are bringing in some heavier armor they've got an is2 now to back up the t3485 uh, they've got rid of the two T-3476s, just kept getting brewed up. <laughs> um, however, both of the crews, because um, of having to take replacements from wounded or damaged crew, then um, they're all um, green. So they're not going to be passing crew checks very readily. Uh, however, on the other hand, the Germans have had plenty of experience points. So they've... Uh, leveled up um, all of their crew. So all of the Panther crew are veteran. Um, the Hetzer now has a veteran gunner and a veteran commander, just a trained driver. And he's also now uh, become a tank ace with the Panther commander. So he's gonna be, uh, he's taken the well-drilled ace skill. This means once per game, the ace's tank can perform two tactical actions and potentially load and fire in one turn you could slam load and fire mm -hmm. which is pretty uh pretty intense or aim and fire something like that so uh once per game but that could yeah. be all you need to knock a tank out with the panther there's some upgrades on the tanks as well so go on what have you got um he's got the improved engine the sights and the um uh, improvised armor so he's got plus one armor you could free uh, plus one dice when you're shooting up to a maximum of three and um yeah move an extra two uh, with the improved engines. Okay. Uh, this guy added on um, the improvised armor. So I've got the camo nets and optics. Camo still got camo nets and, and optics. And I've got the optic armor as well, um, which uh, gets rid of any weak spot cards, so it can't be used. So you can't use a weak spot card again. Yeah, so. um, and he's also got the uh, suspension, so he ignores. Um, the penalty for moving yeah, the shooter. Yeah, moving him through the uh, terrain. Ah, yeah, right, so okay. Moves freely. Moves freely through ambush terrain okay that's very interesting um so we've already <coughs> brought we've as you can see we've done our experience upgrades before the battles of the russians and uh, despite taking severe casualties in the, the last round the second round um so you can certainly watch this video stand alone but we are part way through a campaign here and essentially just to catch you up if you haven't seen the first game um most of our crew were either killed or wounded and have to sit out. Their, their slots are replaced by uh, green troops and experienced troops in a hurry. However, one of our gunners, we did have two experience points. We have upgraded him to trained now. We have a trained gunner. Okay, the Soviets are going up in the world uh, on their IS-2, giving him a chance to pass crew rolls on a three-up. So not like veteran aces with five upgrades like the Panther, but, you know, it's a start. It's a start. So, <laughs> I think we'll definitely have to carry this campaign on after, well, we'll move to a different uh, point in time, but we'll definitely match these commanders up yeah. against each other again. We've got to, because I'm really enjoying getting to know them. But it's been a fun little micro campaign. But with all that being said, uh, we've spent our upgrades, we've done all of that, we've rolled for special ammunition. Now, the Soviets got three rounds, but they, can, uh, they can't take any in the IS-2. So they've got two special rounds in the 85. Um, the Germans only got one round of special ammunition. Supply chain, uh, getting, he's, he's firing, he keeps firing too much of it. Yeah. So uh, he's got one round on the Panther there. So with that being said, um, we're now playing block clearing. Uh, so essentially what you can imagine is after the first day's fighting with the tanks, both um, armies have sent in infantry and filled this ambush terrain with uh, enemy infantry, or so we suspect, we don't know, one, one might suspect. Um, so the way it works now is that you actually get a point for each of the eight pieces of ambush terrain that you clear, and you get two points for a kill. And you can clear ambush terrain by strafing it with your coaxels, you get two dice on sixes, or depending on your close assault, 
uh, score on your tank, or you can shoot it with HE and then you get it on fives instead. So that's just a different twist to the scoring. Uh, we can use reserves. We can put one tank in reserve if you want, JP. And then after 15 minutes pass, uh, that tank will come on. So one tank would have to survive on its own. Uh, I don't think that's such a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to come on with everything, but hopefully our big guns can crack the front armour of the German Mike. We've uh, gone away, had a little think, uh, had a cup of tea, and uh, decided, you know, we need, we need the ice <laughs> too. <laughs> <laughs> we're really enjoying this game, but we're learning some hard lessons um, in the first how to play. It's how to play and how to, uh, yeah. you know... Get How to get lit up by German tap fire. <laughs> <laughs> you so can really see why the tanks are so um, scary. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So we're, we're, we're going for bigger, bigger tanks this time. You can't normally swap your tanks out in a campaign. You sort of pick your tanks and then you play your however many games you agree. Uh, that's one of the cool things. Uh, we said it in the first game. If you haven't watched any of the other videos in the series, I'll just say it now for if you've just stumbled across the video. But a big part of Actung Panzer is the fact that it's quite a dynamic, fast game. So you can legitimately play. If you've got a, an afternoon or an evening's gaming ahead and you've got you know a fair few hours, three or four hours to play, you can definitely play a two or three game campaign and level up. And or learn your cruise. Le yeah. Earn your cruise. Or if you've already played a match the previous uh, sort of weekend and got to know how to play the game, you can then carry that on uh, yeah. week after week and just upgrade those crews. Uh, so you wouldn't normally buy new tanks, but as we've, uh, well, let's just it's say we, uh, yeah, we've decided to uh, just tinker the rules a little bit for this uh, first match because we are learning. So, yeah, we're taking an IS-2. We're swapping two tanks for the IS-2. Uh, so with that being said, uh, we are, again, the, well, we're rolling off this time for a who's attacker and who's defender. So, uh, JP, do you want to roll a dice? And Will, do you want to roll a dice? Doesn't really matter. And a one. So it just means that we roll for minutes past. Here we have the field of battle after deployment. Now we've set up the T-34-85. Me and JP are on the same team here. I've got one tank. I've got the 34-85. He's got the IS-2. We've set up behind these pieces of ambush terrain. We're just potentially going to clear them as we go. Hose them down with coaxels. Maybe shoot some HE. We'll see what happens. Now Will starts off with the Hetzer back here. And the... Uh, panther over here now we have to start six inches from the edge this time um and in terms of reserves it's a 45 minute game and reserves can come on after 10 minutes uh, in addition to that uh, the defender which is the german still they get to um pick two strong points at the start of the game and they're the only ones you can fire uh sort of event cards like um you know tank hunters and stuff um, out of those strong points. So he's gone for the fortified oh. factory building here with the kiln and the bombed out um, house here. So we've got eight pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So we'll uh, get the game started. We need to pick for our initiative. So first off, chaps, it's a radio check. We're in line of sight of each other. Uh, you are not, however. So we'll see if we can get a radio check. And we do not because we're Soviets and uh, we're inexperienced. <laughs> <laughs> Germans radio check. Uh, they fail it just because they're out of line of sight there. They would have got that if they could see each other. So um, we'll pick our tokens at random. We don't know which is which. And we're just going to put them by a tank and then give our first order and then reveal initiative for the first round. Okay, JP, do you want to pick one for your... Um, oh, you can pick one from the T-34. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be back. So orders are down. So by the smoking embers of the previous Soviet wrecks, uh, we'll flip initiative. Um, we didn't pass our order check, did we? No. But we've got one for the IS-2, that's good. And we've got a two for the 34.85. Excellent. That's the third. Pan Hetzer's last, Panther's third. So I know. What, uh, do you know what you want to do with the uh, IS-2? Yeah, he's just going um, to drive Advance. forward and lower the shell. Okay. Flowing through the first action phase, the IS-2 
advanced. He passed a crew check, a skill check with his driver to do a free twist. And he also did the same with his commander to spot the panther. Yeah. Uh, I failed a skill check with my inexperienced driver to try and get into this ambush terrain to drive through and clear it. Um, but I did manage to load an AP round. Uh, well, I've got one ready with my loader, it's in his hands. Uh, then the panther, what did you do? He, so he's, he's he advanced to, forward. He needs to slam his round in. So. Oh, you need to do a, a slam load, okay. Yeah. And for a oh. force load. And I'll be doing the same on the uh, Hector since he's next okay. as well. Okay, yeah. so you do get past that skill check, so you get around straight into the breach. Straight, straight in, and then um, obviously with DML doing AP as well. Okay. Uh, so him. that you fail. Yeah. Uh, do you get a calamity? Uh, so you don't get a calamity, so it just is a normal, it goes, because it's a, a medium uh, weapon, you still get to have it in your hands as a loader, it doesn't drop it, it doesn't bundle it. Um, so, um, we're now on to action phase two, I guess. Mm -hmm. So straight on to action phase two. So it's the IS-2, first one needs to do IS-2, uh, he halts and he aims at the, the panther. Then it's going to be the T-3485. I'm going to try and advance with a skill check again, needing a four. He gets it. So this time he advances four into this terrain. So I'll be hauled down as well. I'm just driving over this burning uh, measure smith. <laughs> uh, so he'll be uh, hauled down now, um, which is good. But uh, also because he's, shoot, he's not got his uh, edge of his hull against the front of the terrain, He'll also be giving hull down to other, um, or oh, counter shooting through terrain. Yeah. Now, in terms of his action, I'm going to get that round ready and in the breach this time. Okay, so now it's uh, the Panther. You've gone for an advance. Yeah. Action phase two. The Panther advanced forward, failed to do a skill check with his driver, so he couldn't do a pivot, so he just swung his turret around facing towards the IS-2, so that was the Panther activating. And then the Hesser just advanced forward to the edge of this terrain and uh, pulled off his free spot with the commander there. So have you got around in the chamber? Uh, both of them do, yeah. So you can fire that now, because you've moved. Oh, so no, the Hesser's not got one, he's just ready. He's ready, it's so you're gonna have to move, so you have to... Yeah. So he gets that round into the breach now. Yeah. Straight into action phase three, we'll pick our Phase up. three um, for each tank was very straightforward. IS-2 failed to move into this terrain and clear it, but he did uh, get around in the chamber, yeah, so and you're aimed up, it. you're all ready to go. The T-3485 passed an order check, uh, skill <laughs> check to drive up to the edge of the terrain, and he spotted across into the Hetzer here. And then the Panther is again maneuvered, and he's now aiming at the IS-2 with a round in the chamber, and the Hetzer is also aiming at the IS-2 with a round in the chamber. So going into turn two, we need to uh, redo event cards, shuffle out, so get our hands redone, drop yeah, any cards we don't want to top big. up, and then everyone's locked and loaded, ready for uh, a big old shootout, turn two. Turn two, we'll play static. This event card means we don't get to look, well, no one does unless they've got an ace commander. Will has an ace command, so we have to pick our tokens at random, whereas Will gets to look at his. Right. That's turn two, let's flip these initiatives. Uh, the IS-2 is second. The T-3485 is first, oh. excellent. The Soviets leading the way. And then the Panther third, Hetz of fourth. Ah, so almost exactly the same, but the uh, Soviet tanks swapping orders. Now, uh, simple enough for my T-34-85, I'm halted and I am, I've got a lot around loaded, so all I need to do is do an aim order onto that Hetzer. I'm ready to go. Okay, now it is the IS-2. He's aiming at the Panther, is he not? So he's halted. Nice. He's just going to... Unleash a Sling a shot. So you're over half range, so you're hitting on fives with a pen of 10, that's good. You get two dice, but you are shooting through ambush terrain. So that's gonna be reduced down to one dice. One dice on a five, come on. Come on. 
He oh, gets he the him. hit. Excellent. Right, okay, roll for location now. Um, he's not hull down, is he? Because he's not in the terrain. Oh, no. It's uh, in the running gear. So you can't knock him out with a pen, but it is against his running gear armour. What's the armour of a running gear? Only five instead of 12 or 13. That's lush. You can get the damage. Well, he's on a pen 10 anyway, because it's an IS2. So it's a nice, nice, so you should easily. So, yep, you, get, you do damage his running gear. Um, it doesn't have any massive other effect at this point in the game. But if he takes two running gear hits, he's crippled, and uh, three damage tokens of any kind. It does fall. And they abandon it. Um, command abandon. Oh, yeah, you're going to have to roll a command check. You are an ace, so you only go down on a five or a six. So roll to see if you uh, batten down the hatches. And he, uh, he does, and he goes down two stars as well. So his... Veteran commander is knocked down to uh, green. He's been wounded. That's great. Then he battens down his hatch for the rest of the game. No more free spots anymore. Every spot action will cost him an actual tactical action. It's now the panther's turn to activate. Have you gone for a halt, I presume? Halt, yeah. And you're going to fire back. You're shooting through the ambush terrain. We're going straight into a fight, even though it's 45 minutes and we're supposed to be clearing this terrain of any infantry. Ignoring our orders, we're straight at it. Um, so you need to roll, you've got your advanced sights, you don't suffer, suffer the penalty, so it's three dice. However, JP did pop smoke with his action card, so now it's, uh, it's two dice for you. Okay. Hitting on fives. No, he misses, excellent. So we've put a round into him. And he's uh, missed on the return. Now, Will's played a bullseye card, which means he gets to re-roll the dice uh, either or. He can roll any or both. Now, we did pop our smoke, which reduced his dice by one. But actually, if we'd use that on the bullseye card, he yeah. wouldn't have been able to re-roll. So interesting. He got five. Yes, he can. He's got the hit. Five for the roll for the location. There's no hold down here. Uh, it is also in the tracks. It's a six. So he's also damaged the running gear of the IS-2. Uh, do you have to batten down? Roll the dice, JP. Uh, you do. do have to batten yeah. down, but you don't take any damage. There are no more free spotting for you. Your commander's going to hide. Uh, doesn't like. A bit spicy for him out there. So it's turn to fire. He's also aimed at the IS-2. He's going to pop a shot. So it's... Um... Not going through any cover here. Um, well, you are shooting through these this little bit here, I think. So, yeah, it's going to be minus one dice. But plus one because you've got improvised sights as well. Nice. So. Uh, advanced sights. Yeah, advanced sights. Nice. You've not moved, you've halted. No hit, no though. That's what we needed. Okay, so we'll move swiftly on. Things first of action phase two. The IS-2 halts, and he's going to pop a shot. He's going to slam around in and hopefully force a load. No. no, you've not got a. I know the two has got a. You've got a train oh, yeah. gunner. You're good. He gets around straight in the chamber. Now um, it's the T3485, and what he's going to do is just pop a shot. He's aimed. He's ready to rock and roll straight at the Hetzer. We've only got one dice here, needing a five. Come on, lad. He gets oh, he the gets hit it. on the Hetzer. Okay, so we're over half range. So. Our, only pen seven and his front armor is 12, 12 yeah. because he's got improved armor as well from the previous uh, experience points from the campaign. So they've been welding and bolting extra plates on overnight, strapping some logs on the front. So we get, we get a three plus our seven makes a 10. So we bounce the shot, but do we force him to uh, button up? We'll see. And it's a one. So no, he's just going to be absolutely fine. He's gonna stay, the commander's gonna stay standing up. Just flinch a little bit. Going for a sweet manoeuvre here with the panther. He's doing a into the breach event card to get around straight into the chamber. And then he's using his ace skill, well drilled. Once per game, he can do two tactical actions. So he's halting, auto loading without a skill check and popping a shot straight into the IS-2. So it's gonna be three dice, isn't it? Because yeah. of your improved sights. Uh, we need to see if the smoke is cleared, because um, you didn't move. So on a one or a two, 
Uh, so the smoke's still there, so it's down to two dice at least. And no hits. <sighs> cool maneuver, but didn't quite get the hit in. He's halting still. He's just going to try and pass a skill check on his gunner. And yeah. yes, he gets around straight into the breach as well. So that's the end of action phase two there. Mm -hmm. Straight into action phase three, we'll give our action orders. Phase three, T3485, yep, I managed to get a speed load. I got around straight in the chamber and halted. IS2, you've got, have you got around in the chamber? Around in the chamber. So yeah. you're ready to fire. Just ready to fire. So it's minus one dice for shooting through ambush terrain. We're just launching shots at this panther. Nice. Minus one, right? Let's see the way. All the tank commanders are screaming at the loaders here. Just keep slinging rounds into the breach. He's going for a skill check on the Panther. AP round. AP round, straight in the breach. And then the Hetzer, you got one in last time, did you? You got yeah. around in the breach? Yeah, I've got So it's time to AP. pop one straight into I'm the IS2. I'm to play tank hunters before he does. Okay, very nice. You can play this at any time. So the effect is you resolve an attack on an enemy tank within six inches of a piece of uncleared ambush terrain. Now, uh, he's not cleared this bit of terrain as he's moved past it. Uh, you can definitely get him in the back there within six inches, but back and side are the same. So, um, you need to roll three dice and get a six to hit six. him. Come on, some stolen Panzerfaust. Red Army conscripts here. Safety IS2, baby. No. no. So the Panzerfaust fly, <laughs> and then that is cleared. But you don't get the point for it. Okay, Will, it's your turn to fire. So you're, ha you've got improved sights on this guy? Yeah. <sighs> Germans and their damn good quality scopes. So, optics. So, uh, it's three dice, is it? I've still got smoke. Two, he's still got smoke. Still two dice. Two dice. Do I have to roll the smoke again? He's deactivated. It's when he activates. So, he two dice, move. yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh, he gets a hit. a hit with the Hetzer again. Okay, so a front armor of the IS-2 is where you need to do a location. So, he's hit oh. the hull and front is 13. Hetzer's round is only pending on an eight at this range, so um, you can get through. You can glance him on a five, pen him on a six. He gets the uh, glance. Improvised armor. Improvised armor, so that improves his armor by two, taking that to nothing. So he avoids taking any and damage there. Turn three, we played Confusion, an event card we pulled last turn. Means Will can't draw anymore, so he's stuck on two action cards, two event cards. For this turn, we've gone up to four. He currently has a hand of five because his commander's a veteran. And this is ours. Um, we can't actually even use that one and it gets played as soon as it's drawn. So we're on three. It's three to two. Everyone's failed their radio check this turn. So gentlemen, your random uh, order that initiative. And then Will, another one for you. And do you want to place the final one by the T-34-85? So we'll issue some orders and be ready back. to flip initiative here. We've got a four, the T-34-85, they're having a little argument in there. Someone spilled the vodka. Uh, thankfully, the IS-2 is going first. Panther's third, Hetzer's second this time. Okay, so what are you doing? He's going to back up around the corner and try and force load the shell into the bridge. So pivot and, oh, you're just reversing. You're going for a... Skill check yeah, on the driver. And he doesn't get it, so that's it. But you did get, did you say you were doing a, a, a load the in force first? Load in. Force load first. Yeah. So you're supposed to roll that dice first. Okay. Go and do that now. Uh, what's your skill here? He gets it. Okay. So you've got a round in the chamber, but you can't move in any way. Now it's up to the Hetzer. So the Hetzer will. Uh, we took a foot shot last turn, so he'll put a round in. Okay, go and for slam a, it in. Go for an order check. Yeah. Oh, sorry. And no, he does not roll a calamity. He's a, he's, he is, it's two up. It's two up? Oh, he's, he's, a, he's a veteran, a veteran loader. Sorry, that's the one. Okay, yeah. so he gets a round straight in the chamber there. A, AP, ready in the breach. It's the Panthers turn. He's got a round in the breach. He's going for a shot, advanced sights. Um, you've Smokes. activated, you need to roll for your smoke, JP. One or two, it clears. Yes. Uh, so it clears, so Will gets three shots. 
Oh. It ignores the intervening terrain to the advanced sites. Being a five or a six. Oh, oh, he misses with everything. That's just what we needed to see. And then it's down to the T3485. Now I'm very tempted to start pushing out and two, uh, two tanks on one versus the Panther. But I've got around in the chamber and I'm already aiming at the Hetzer. So let's see if we can get this shot off. I only get one dice needing a five up. Come on, lad. It's a miss this time. Okay. Okay, so. Uh, that's uh, down to action phase two, so we'll assign some orders. Action and phase ice two, what are you doing? Launch a shot at the Panther. Launching a shot at the Panther. You got one in the Brooks last time. Mm -hmm. Needing a five here and one dice. Yes, he gets the hit that he needs. Roll for location now. There's no hull down at this point. He's got him in the hull. Nice. 10. 10. 16. Okay, so that's done another damage. That's two to the tracks. No, it's not the tracks. I've hit him in the hull this time. Oh, him in the hull this time. So 16. 16. And what's his armour on the front? 13. So you're one away from auto-penning him. But uh, you can roll the dice now to see if you do knock him out. You need a one, two, or a three. Come on. He gets a six, so the Panther's going to be okay. But uh, he's got to take a extra dice uh, to see what happens from the penetration. So on one or two, nothing happens. Otherwise, something's going to happen to the crew. Uh, like he could get blinded. The gunner could get blinded. The uh, driver could get knocked unconscious, so on and so forth. So roll a d6, JP. So you get, and a four will have to look up. The, something to do with the crew. Now you need to see what the effect is, and it's a five. So it's a sprained wrist. Sprained wrist on the driver. It shocks the hull, um, and what happens? The tank lurches violently from an ear-shattering strike. A control stick is violently wrenched, and the driver's hand sprains his wrist. And then what's the, the driver effect? loses one star for the remainder of the battle. Ah, right, okay, so, so he's down to a regular. Down to a regular driver. It's going to be hard to manoeuvre through terrain. Cool. So now it's the Panther. Okay, so the Panther is going to um, slam all around. Okay, needing a two. Yeah, two, yeah. And he's yeah. got it in the back. So still aiming at the IS-2 and then the Hetzer. What's he going to do? So the Hector's um, going to, um, is he loaded yet? He's going to take a shot to get out of the... Um, okay, taking yeah. a shot. Uh, three dice on this. Three dice. And no. again, he misses with everything. They may have advanced sights, but they also uh, can't hit for Toffee. Uh, we'll be on to, we need to redo event cards, and we'll be on to turn four. And also we need to see time elapsed. So far we have... 15 minutes elapsed, and uh, that was turn three, so it's our turn again. And we'll roll two, so it goes up to 17 minutes elapsed. Got at the end of turn three, let's have a little look at the lay of the land. The T3485 keeps slinging shots towards the Hetzer. No luck as of yet in terms of damage, but uh, he's zoning in, that's for sure. The Panther has taken two big blows from the IS-2. His tracks have been damaged and his hull has been damaged. If he takes another damage token, even from a glance, his crew will have to abandon it. It'll be a forced ab ab abandon. Uh, the T-3485 also is not taking any shots whatsoever because the Hetzer and the Panther are both focusing in on the IS-2. Despite their advanced sights, uh, Will can't seem to roll dice at, uh, at this point in the game. So the IS-2 has only taken some damage to its tracks so far. So we need to uh, do initiative tokens uh, and we'll be back with the orders. Initiative tokens, we know what we want to do. I'm on three with the T-3485. Oh, the IS-1-2 is one yes, again. <clears throat> Panther's second. Uh, let's see, and uh, Hetzer's last. So uh, have you got a round in the chamber? No. no. You need to load your halting. No, I'm going to try and... Get out of the line of sight of the panther, I think. Try and do a reverse around okay. the bush. I will play mines now okay. because you've declared an activation. So you need to take a um, command check and um, if it's a success, you avoid the mines and you receive one damage uh, on a fail and you calamity is two damage to the tracks. Okay. So Luckily, that was close. 
But, uh, we you can avoid mines. Okay, oh. so you can avoid mines. And we also have another thing, which is we can actually fix our tracks as well because we've got emergency repair. And what we'll do is we'll try and do a crew check with the driver and see if we can fix our damaged tracks. Yeah. And uh, no, we fail it. So now we can't do anything. Uh, that's the, if you get a calamity. Oh, you need to roll to see if you get a calamity. Okay. No, thankfully not. So there's just no effect. You can just attempt to reverse into the train, yeah? Uh, yeah, so you can just attempt to reverse into the train. Which he does. Yeah, uh, yeah. you earned no, iron. For the drive. Uh, right, okay, so you're just stationary. Yeah. What was your, uh, were you shooting? Oh, you were well, loading. Load you had to load. So uh, yeah. you're just going to have to load one into the... Force load one. supposed to do this in a different order, JP, because you've failed your, okay, your movement that. check. So we're going to be strict there so we make sure we learn the rules. So he's not got around in the chain base. Mm -hmm. Buggered it up with the driver. So this time the panther, Will's learning from JP's mistakes, he's going to fire the panther and then go for his reverse. So three dice, there's no smoke anymore. No. Firing at the IS-2, yeah. he gets a hit, front armour, Hits um, in the turret. The turret. Yeah. Um, uh, our turret armour is 12 on the front. So I've got an eight, so I need a four to glance you. And five or six yeah. to pen. It's nothing. nothing. Okay, so he's bouncing us. Nice having an IS2. Just failed a pivot check thanks to that uh, sprained wrist. Now I'm going to load around. I'm going for a, uh, I think, a force load. Yes, we get around straight into the chamber. I'm going for a special round this time. I'm going to use one of those special rounds, try and speed things up. I'm going to try and also advance out of this terrain now. Needing a four. Yes, we do it. So I can move four inches out of the air, uh, clear down. And the road slinking away partially behind the factory. The IS-2's done the same. He's reversing four inches, putting this terrain between him and the Panther. And now he can just start shooting at the Hetzer. So he's gonna have to do a spot order. Are you out of your, are you unbuttoned? No, I've been shot at. You've been shot at. So you need to uh, just you just do that as your action. You don't have to roll the dice. I want to sling a shell in, not a tail. Oh, first. so you're not going to spot instead? No, I'll sling Okay, you're going to load first. Yeah. Okay. Okay. He misses. Uh, he misses. So he's just no, got he it. Oh, he gets it. Yeah. No, awesome. Yeah, that's our one uh, trained <laughs> member of our entire platoon is that loader. Uh, so he gets a round, an AP round straight in the chamber. Now it's... Who? Panther. Panther, yeah. So the Panther's got a turn right order on the okay. move. So he's going to um, slam load around and obviously move and do his uh, action. Okay, so you're going to roll with your round check first. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, it's a calamity. Uh, or is it a calamity? No, so it hit just stays in the loader's hands. And then you're going for a right turn, aren't you? So you can do a twist and four inches. Okay. Price going okay. for a twist. We get it. Free twist. Tokyo Drift, baby. Then eight inches. Can you just measure eight for me, Will, please? Puts me up to here. And then hopefully I can shoot past that terrain oh, and straight into the Hetzer now. Oh, round in the chamber. It is a specialist round. I'll only get one dice on this because I've moved although I'm not shooting through any uh, cover that would reduce my dice any further. Do I wait? I'm gonna go for it on a five or a six. Come on now, he gets the hit. Okay, so this is a special round now, William. So we're over half range, so it's a pen of 10 against the Hetz's front armor. I'll use improvised armor. So you go up to armor 14 with yeah. your, your bonus armor versus pen 10. Come on. We've got a three, so it just bounces off, oh. thanks to that improvised armour event card. Is the head, so he's going to fire a shot, he's going round in the chamber, AP, at the IS-2. Three dice, and he fails oh again. Stop, stop passing that uh, schnapps round, <laughs> and start aiming some shots. He has advanced, and he's switched his target to the Hetzer now. The Panther has likewise, he's done an advanced order forwards, but he's not, he's going to not spot uh, because he can't do it for free now that his commander's uh, buttoned up. So he's uh, choosing to try and load around into the chamber rapidly, needing a I two need up. Pivot first. Are you going for a pivot check? Try and get your front armor on. 
Yeah. Uh, drivers, yeah, it's a three up. You're okay. So you get your front armor on, twist your turret, and then you're going for a loader check as well, aren't you? Yeah. So needing a two on this. Yes. Yeah, so he gets an AP round straight in the chamber. I guess you didn't need to do the check then because you already readied it. Yeah. Uh, now it's up to me, oh, yeah. and I'm going for a, a quick fire, a quick load, I think. And I get that off, so I get around straight in the chamber. Heroic maneuver from the T3485. We pass a skill check on the driver to do a free pivot. Then we dash forward into the onto the road. And now we've also passed a skill check on the gunner as well. So we've got another round in the chamber. Now it's the Hetzer's turn. Right, the Hetzer will slam around in. Okay. So needing a two up. Yeah. He gets it. He's staying still. Yeah. Right, so it's event card time. Into turn five, the Panthers lost his track on the T-34-85, and the Hexus are <laughs> having to duel two on one. Now we'll flip our initiatives. So IS-2 is going second. Fourth for the Panther. A third, and that means the T-34-85 is going first, and I know exactly what I want to do. I want to pop a shot at him. Um, I'm not moving, nothing like that. It's two dice, needing a five. And I've got an AP round in the chamber. Come on, in the breach, rather. Uh, we missed this time, though. Turns out he'll prefer shooting one dice. Two again, attempts emergency repairs. Doesn't manage to fix the uh, tracks. However, he's halted, and you've, you're putting a round in the chamber, aren't you? You managed to get no, one aimed. In. You've aimed. Yeah. You've aimed at the Hetzer. And you've already got a round in the yeah. chamber. Okay, nice. Now, uh, you're holding fire. Uh, and now it's the Panther's turn. And what order check, what order did you give him? For so movement? he's got a uh, forward move order. Okay. And he's going to um, go the full distance and then he's going to a uh, lock, well, look at the tank and spot it. Okay, if you've action, phase one. The Panther, he can move up to this terrain. He's got that suspension and he spots the T-34. 85 again. Now we're going into action phase two, so we need to give some orders. Oh, you're going for tank hunters. Yes, play. Did you already get your reinforcements card out? Yeah, yes. that was uh, just pretty uh, You've just, uh, so you've yeah. deployed, you deployed them at the start of this turn. So you're gonna roll uh, into the T-3485? Um, uh, or into this? Into Neither's the cleared. T-34, yeah. You're going for the T-3485 in the side. Right, okay, so what does your tank hunters do? Three dice on a pen of five. Okay, so you need a six. And yes. he does get one, and now uh, rolling a dice, pen of five on the side of the, so you need to roll to see your location of your hit. It's the running gear, uh, so it's a six. So one will glance. A two is a pen on the running gear, so the T-3485 takes uh, some track damage, and that's that. Action phase two. T-3485 went for a, a forced reload, we failed it, but played Charmed Life and passed it on the second, so we've got an AP, and we've gone for a special round in the breach. However, Will's also played bad timing, so I can't move this turn. Now it's up to the IS-2. He uh, has a round in the chamber. Yeah. He's, he's aimed, aimed. he's, he's halted. good to go, he's halted. It's just two dice at the head, so let's see what he can do. He's been building up to this. Uh, no, you've no no cover that counts. No uh, amber cover. Uh, he's got a hit. So it's uh, location first. In, In the, the turret. turret. Now he's turretless. So we need to look. A turretless uh, vehicle. If you get it on the turret, it counts as hitting the hull. However, to compensate for this, if you get a second hull damage, it doesn't automatically knock the vehicle out. It gets to roll a d6. So you need to you uh, need to see if you can pen now. You've got a long range penetration value of ten. The Hetzer's armor twelve on the front. Come on, JP. He gets a six. That's uh, more than four. That's automatically knocked out. Do you brew him up on a four, five, or six? And yes, you do. He's lit that Hetzer up, and it burns brightly in that terrain there. Right, okay, so uh, 
We can do it. It can be done. We can knock out German we tanks. Still haven't knocked out the Panther. Now we have to deal with the Panther. Uh, so it's your activation now because the Hex is dead. Yeah. So I'm going to use teamwork. Okay. So I want to put the attack for action. Um, I'm going to uh, halt. So Will's playing teamwork with the Panther. He gets two activations. That means he can use one to aim properly at the T3485. And then he can use another action immediately after that to fire into my side. Now we're playing Fog of War to pop smoke straight away. That means he only gets two dice. Uh, one for shooting through the terrain, uh, losing another one for Fog of War, but gaining one for his advanced sights. Needing a five or a six here, Will. Yes! And this Fog of War possibly saves me there. Right, uh, it's down to action phase three. Is one on three already? It's flying through him. Third action, the T-34 goes first, of course. We're going for a free spot. My commander's still unbuttoned at this stage. We get it, so we're switching targets to the Panther. Now I'm gonna go for a free pivot, hopefully. Well, I'll go for my aim first, in case I fail my pivot. So I'm aiming at the Panther. I'm just doing that straight up, that's my action. So he's spotted and aimed. And now can I do a free pivot with the driver? And yes, I can. So I can just swing my armor hull around. Okay, we're good to go. We've got a round in the chamber. Can I roll a two up to see if the smoke dissipates. And we'll need to, yes, of course. And it stays. Stay. Yes, two does a simple pivot and move forward four inches. And you've loaded a round in the chamber, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, roll the And now it's the Panther's turn. Final activation of turn five. The Panther just fails a skill check to get a round in the chamber. So it's just. Uh, in the gunner's hand there. So we're uh, we're ready to rock and roll over Two here. minutes has passed going into this turn now. We're on action phase one. We need to do our initi so initiative going into this turn. Panthers first, IS2 second, and the T-34 is third. On top of that, um, the Panther uh, of the time that has passed is now 32 minutes out of 45. So we're getting to the tail end. Can the Panther survive? Or can he knock two tanks out? Who knows? So uh, what are you doing first, Will? He's going to do a reverse. He's doing a reverse? Yeah, and then okay. he's going to load the load around into the actual breach. Okay. So he's just doing a simple load because he had one in his hands. Reverse four inches. Is he going to be out of line of sight there? Of my commander, certainly. So I go down to just spotted from aimed. IS2 just grumbles forward only six inches, but he can do a spot on the Panther. And then finally, I went for a reverse order. So I'm going to have to pass an order check. I'm not actually going to go for it, I think. I'm just going to go for a pivot order. And uh, I've got a round in the chamber already. So we're just going for a pivot. Action phase two. Panther's going first. He's doing a forward advance order uh, up to the... Uh, terrain. He doesn't care about it because of his uh, suspension now. He's uh, had many upgrades through the campaign. And then you've got just a spot on me. So you're going for an aim? Yeah. Okay, because you broke sight with me last time. Right. I uh, Now it's the IS-2. You've spotted him. Yeah. He's going to advance and aim. Okay. You're going for a free spin? Uh, I'll try it at the end, Jack. Clears the terrain there. Let's see if you can turn the turret. Oh, load first. Oh, do your aim first. I'm already loaded, so I've aimed and then all of okay. it's just spin. And now he doesn't get to twist. 34.75 goes last. He's going to push out of the smoke so he's got a better chance of shooting. But just put him at risk of that panther getting the first shot. Uh, we're staying where we are. I don't want to risk the spin. And I'm uh, just making sure I'm not blocking off the IS-2. We've got two shots against one. But uh, the Panther gets the first pull of the trigger. Panther's first for round three. He's doing a shoot and reverse. Now he's shooting, he's not up to the front of this ambush terrain, so he will be minus one dice because of that. We're gonna also play a fog of war, making him minus two dice. Of course, he's got that advanced sights, making him uh, two dice. And he misses, that's perfect. Right, okay, we will be minus one dice against him. He's reversing back four inches. He's going to pivot as well if he can. Okay, can you pass the skill check? Two. 
your driver's got a sprain yeah. wrist, so no. Oh, no. You cannot pivot out of the way. We can still see you there. Now it's the IS2 firing back. He's lined up. He's shooting straight. He's just halted, so he's just going to fire. Now you only get one dice because you are shooting through the edge of that ambush terrain, sadly. Yeah. He gets the mess. Uh, then it's me, and I've got a round in the chamber as well. I'm going to go for a shot. Hitting a five or a six. No. Okay. So we've all uh, emptied our breaches to no avail. Into this turn, we've had 38 minutes, only seven left of this engagement. Um, we're going to do initiative now. So radio check going in. And the Soviets can see each other. Yes, excellent. We do pass on a four, there. finally. And uh, no, so we get to see what order we're going in. So Will's picked one. And so, oh, let's we'll see what this one is. Okay. Simple first action phase for this turn. Let's flip our initiative. IS2 goes second. T35, uh, 34, 84, 85 goes uh, third. Panther's first again. First activation of this turn is the Panther. He's going to try and, he's halting, and he's trying to force around in the chamber quickly. Uh, he gets it with his veteran loader there. Now it's the IS2. You halting as well or moving? Yeah, I'm going to advance forward. Oh, he's advancing forward, trying to get around that ambush terrain. Uh, he's going to move six, then he's going to try and slam one of them. So. Okay. He gets nice. it. And I'm going to do an advance as well. And I'm also going to try and load around in. Now, I need to do my load first, which I get. So I'm going to put a special round in. My final specialist round. And then I'm also my second. I'm going to move and do a pivot check, which I get. Excellent. The crew are all working, working together well. well. Going into turn, action phase two. He's reversing four inches. Do you know, do you need to do a pivot check? Going for a pivot check. He yeah. passes it, risky, should have fired first potentially. You're gonna do a bad day and make you re-roll that. Re-roll it. He's not fired his weapon, so if he fails this. Oh, he gets oh. it. So four inches. Uh, even though he's moved those advanced sights, means that he can roll three dice uh, on the T3485. You're gonna fire the hit. Yes. And he gets the hit. Uh, location, there's no nothing between us, nothing hold down. Uh, it's oh. going to be in the hull. I've not taken anything to the hull yet. Uh, but what can he do? My armour is 10. So this and is his eight. pen is 8. Oh, we got him. 8 plus 5 is 13. It's not automatically knocked out. You need to roll a 1 to 3 to knock me out. 5 or 6. Eight. Ah! Knocks out There's the T thirty four eighty five with that round there. Uh, does he brew me up? Roll another dice. Uh, yeah. Yes, he does. So that crew are lit up. They're all green and experienced anyway. Just more conscripts burning. Action for the IS two. He's aimed. He's locked. He's got one in the bridge. He's got ready to go. Shot. Shot, two shots in the front. In fives. Come on, man. No, I misses double four. Uh, we're going to action phase two. I'm burning now. It's down to you, JP. You have to chase this German down. He's continuing to reverse and fire four inches, and he's going to an order check, a skill check. Sorry. So you can get another round in the chamber. He's not spotted the IS two though yet. Only fails. Fails the round as no, well. Two up. Uh, no, no, the gunner is a two up. No, no, that's the driver. Right. He's right. So he gets a round. And another AP round into the breach, ready to fire, but he doesn't know who he's shooting at yet. He doesn't know who's shot him. Uh, now it's the IS2. You need to get a round in the breach as well, yeah, right? Yeah, going for a round in the breach. And, and then an advance. So and possibly a pivot. First. He yeah. gets it in, straight in. Advance forward nine and go for a pivot. Yeah, free skill yeah, check. Free skill check. Tokyo Drift. Pivot. Yes, nice. he gets the Tokyo Drift, even with his inexperience. The Russians are working well together. They're learning over the course of the battle. To reverse to do that and get around the corner, he's going to need to pass a skill check on his driver. Sprained wrist. Um, yeah, he gets it on a three-up. He was veteran. So he's going to do a free pivot and back around 
Because you've no round in the chamber, have you? Um, yes, got, you do have a round in the chamber. I'm not aimed. You're not aimed, you're just spotting. Yeah. Okay. Panther driver passes a skill check despite his sprained wrist and managed to do a spin and reverse around the corner, but it's not enough to take him out of line of sight of the IS-2. Uh, do you need a round in the chamber or have you got one? Whacked up one in already. He's got one in already. He's aiming. He's not shooting through any cover yet. Two nice. Five. Come on, lad. Light him up now. No, no, again. Right, okay, and that is action phase three. So we need to see what, how much time passes. Will, it's your turn to roll. Uh, do you want one dice or two? I'll just roll one dice. So on a six, the game will end. No. So that's four more minutes from 43 minutes. Uh, it's two minutes left. Two okay, minutes left. So there's two minutes left on the clock. It's JP's turn. He can force the end by just rolling two dice. Uh, will you pick first? No one's passed their order checks, their radio checks for a very long time, apart from one Soviet recently. Um, so, uh, do you know what you're going to do? Yes. Okay, do you know what you're going to do? Yeah. Okay, flip those initiative tokens, lads. It's first for the Soviets. Uh, you fired a round already, haven't you? Yeah, so I'm going to advance and crack in another one. Okay. It's a breach. Can he pass? His gun is the only trained member of the crew. Yes, yes. that training pays off. And it's an AP round straight into the breach. First round, the IS-2 advances and puts a round in the chamber. Yeah. Second, uh, the Panther goes next and he halts and spots the IS-2. Right, we're on to action two. Second action, the IS-2's gone for a halt. He's going for a shot on the front of the oh, Panther. Six dice. One's going to be a five. No! No, he misses with that burst as well. He only gets two dice, doesn't he? Yeah, I keep thinking it's three. And uh, now what are you doing? You've got a round in the chamber. I need to aim at him. You need to aim at him. <laughs> okay. He aims with his second activation. Now, you haven't got time to get another round in and fire it off, have you? So that was your last chance. So that means you can just move, yeah. I guess. I just go for a skill check and try and reverse around the corner, I guess. I'm just going to go forward and then spin, I think. Spin and forward, rather. Yeah. Spin and forward. So do a skill check. Passes. Passes. Final activation. The Ice 2 knows he can't get around in and fire at the Panther. So he's uh, twisting and advanced off. However, the Panther's going to try and chase him down. Boots on the other foot. He has a move of seven inches forward. He pushes forward. He's going to shoot through this ambush terrain. So he's only going to get, uh, well, it's three. It's a move and a he's shot. So that'll be down to one dice. He has, uh, he has aim, so it's up to two. Right, where's the dice? He definitely aimed. He held off. Oh, it's cocked that. It's not flat. He gets the hit. Okay, it's in the side of the IS-2 because it failed to escape. Can he get the damage? It's pen uh, 8 at this range, isn't it? Yeah. That's the tracks. Uh, nothing hold down, so he does get him. And I need to roll for pen. The track armor's low, so he, he can't knock him out in one shot. He does damage the tracks. You've already taken track damage, so you end the game crippled. Now, JP, it's your turn to roll to see time up, or shall I just do it? It's going to end the game, isn't it? So the game is over. GG, gentlemen. I mean, I was involved as well, so I'm going to show you. GG, <laughs> uh, Will. GG. <laughs> so all in all, that's the end of our first Acton Panzer mini campaign. Three games back to back. How long it takes? About four or five hours, so a, a healthy evening's yeah. gaming, healthy day's gaming. Uh, sun's gone down there. That's with filming and um, not really knowing what we're doing and having to check the rules a lot as well. So, um, definitely a, a very snappy, fun game. Uh, the Panthers just absolutely wreaked havoc throughout the entire through day. The early times. Really yeah. cool, really cool through the early tanks. Uh, it was nice to have the IS-2 on there. I think he got lucky in the end lighting uh, the T-34H fan. I thought we had him yeah. on the ropes there. I missed six dice on a five up to the Yeah, you just him. couldn't get a hit on him. Uh, and then he got the T-34H5. So we're learning a lot, learning a lot about how you should target, maybe gang up on tanks, this, that, and the other. I think leaving the T-34H5 just totally unharassed so he could load and fire. Uh, put the hex on the back foot. And if I'd got luckier on my rolls, we could have uh, lit him up sooner. So in terms of the score, it's one kill each. The hex up was lit up 
by the 3485 and obviously the 3485 lit up by the Panther. Now the Panther is of a higher class, it's one point, uh, uh, two points each for kills and in terms of air ambush terrain cleared, the Russians did actually clear a bit of ambush terrain. So they come out of that with a victory point, that means they're a renowned point or a respect point, reputation point, and it was an R, for the Soviet commander. So he's on his way to uh, becoming an ace if we reuse these teams in a later campaign, if we decide to carry the campaign on. We might restart now that we know what we've done, now we know what we're mm -hmm. doing, get some Brits on the field, maybe get some Americans on the field, who knows? So comment down below. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think of Acton Pants if you're excited to get to grips with it yourself. We're absolutely loving it. The uh, It's fun to get some yeah. big tanks on that plate. It's really different than me doing bolt action. Yeah, yeah, you get to use different tanks, which is just great. Uh, and on top of that, I think there's been a couple of moments where the action phase comes to the third action phase. You've got rounds in the chamber and it's like a cliffhanger and you get new event cards. And it's like who's gonna get the who's gonna pull the trigger yeah. first, so to speak. And um, you redo the initiative at the end, you know, ready for the new action phase. And maybe you were gonna get that shot off first, but then they get to go first instead of you, and they punch that shot in. Uh, sometimes you try and force a load in, but you miss it. You get butterfingers on your loader, and then your opponent gets around in the chamber and gets ahead of you in the rush to be the first to pull the trigger. So very, very interesting. We've had an interesting also combination of, I think, damage tokens and sort of um, tanks getting slowly knocked apart and also lit up. And with the big guns, it's quite easy to light them up. Not much hull down this game, but a lot of air, uh, just maneuverability and maneuvering. I just, yeah, I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah really, really fun. So uh, we can't wait to get more games done. Uh, but we're going to wrap this up, guys, now. So, as I said, like the video if, you can, if you've can, if you enjoyed it. It really helps the channel out. Subscribe so you don't miss out on all our bolt action and uh, the content and the rest of the Acton Panzer series that we're doing over the next few uh, weeks. And with all that being said, I hope you found this video interesting and entertaining. This has been the Scholar Progenium. Thank you very much for your time. Goodbye.